So you wanna know how the big dogs be automating their online coaching businesses? Well, baby, you're in for a treat. But for real, these automations that I'm gonna be showing you are the thing that allows me to maintain high profit margins and streamline and standardize a lot of the recurring responsibilities inside of my online coaching business. Most people probably think that running a seven figure online coaching business requires a lot of team and a lot of overhead, but I want to show you that there is another way. There is another way, okay? These automations are the things that allow me to remove a lot of the need for manual labor, meaning hiring contractors, VAs, or even full-time employees become not obsolete, but really reduces the dependency that I need on a human being to run the operations of my coaching business. So let's get into it. The first automation that I have set up to run my online coaching business is automating how I qualify applicants for my coaching program. So when new prospects are considering joining my coaching program, they have to submit an application. And once that application comes in, that we have to review that application and approve or deny that application and then continue on with the sales process with following up with that prospect and helping them determine what the best next step decision is for them. How I automate that is using two tools, Airtable and Zapier. So first and foremost, this is my coaching client management system. It's basically my CRM for managing all of my coaching clients from the moment that they apply to my program to the moment that they get offboarded. When a new application comes in, the form is built inside of Airtable. And once that application gets submitted, it gets moved to this applications to review tab. Now, the first automation that I think is super, super dope is once you start reviewing applications, you'll be able to expand the record, get all the information that you need to review that candidate. But then in this qualified status tab, you can switch it from reviewed to either qualified, not qualified, or another one of these responses. If I click qualified and or not qualified, that triggers an automation. So if I, let's say the candidate is qualified and I move their status to qualified, one, their application will get automatically moved to this additional tab so that I can view all the qualified leads who've applied for the program. But the other dope part is I have a Zapier set up that when a new record is created in Airtable, when an application status gets moved to qualified, it triggers an email being sent off through Active Campaign. And this email is the application qualified email that gets sent to the candidate, letting them know that their application has been accepted and that they can continue on with the next step of the, of the sales process. This makes my life so much easier, especially as the volume of people applying for your program increases. In the beginning, when you're just dealing with three, five, 10 people applying for your program, it's super easy to manage on your own. But when you start getting 30, 50, 100, 200 people applying to work with you, having this automation saves a ton of time. And even when somebody is not qualified, an email still gets triggered off through Zapier, an active campaign, to tell them that their application has been denied. But it's still within that email, I offer some resources on what else might be more beneficial for them to start with instead of the program that they initially applied for. So I'm still able to get potentially some additional sales on other products or workshops that I recommend in that decline email. But again, it removes the need for me to have to be manually sending out application accepted or application denied emails. The next automation that I use to streamline my seven figure online coaching business is my entire client onboarding process. So once a client has submitted payment, there's a lot of steps that have to go in to actually onboarding the client and making sure there's a very seamless client experience. I sell more premium priced programs, things that are in the high four figures, high five figure category. Your client experience makes a huge impact on that client's perception and reduces their post-purchase doubt in Having automating things allows you to really convey that sense of confidence to your client after they've made the investment. So I also use Zapier automation for this as well. I do all of my payment processing through Thrivecart. So once a client has actually made a purchase using one of the particular products that are related to my coaching program, that triggers this automation to one, add the client to the students tab in my leverage Airtable hub. That's that coaching client management system that I showed you just a moment ago. If you want access to that coaching client management system or if you need a better CRM to manage all of your clients, I put together the coaching client management system bundle for you. I'll leave a link in the comments below if you wanna go check it out. But once the client 
purchases, they get added to the students tab inside of Airtable and then that triggers the remainder of the onboarding process. I'll send my contract through e-signatures, which will send the new client contract directly to the student. It will also create some next step tasks inside of my project management software, Asana. And this task is going to initiate all the tactical things we need to do to begin the onboarding process. So I like to pull in all of the necessary client onboarding information so that when my team member is supporting me with the client onboarding, they have all the information that they need inside of the Asana task to facilitate the onboarding of the client. And all of the steps that are associated with my client onboarding are built in. In addition, it will automatically add the program curriculum directly to the client account. I use a software called Member Vault. That's the content management system that I use. It's very similar to like a Teachable, Kajabi, or a Thinkific. But this automation will start the onboarding, create all the to-do tasks that my team member needs. This automation will add them to active campaign. This automation will trigger everything that we have to do for the onboarding process, sending them their contract tasking out all the action items that my team members need to do for the onboarding, sending them immediate access to their products inside of our client portal, adding them into our email management system, active campaign, sending them their welcome email with all their login details and information, and updating all their student records inside of my coaching client management system at Airtable. This automation alone saves me about 30 minutes to an hour per client during the onboarding process. And when, again, when you start working with more and more clients, that time adds up. The next automation that I use to run my online coaching business is automating the client testimonials that we get and publishing them to our Facebook business page. A while back, I polled my audience and asked them, where do you look for client testimonials or client reviews when you're trying to make a buying decision? And I was super shocked by the results. My clients told me that they'll look at my social media account and the application page associated with the program that I'm selling for more context. But the second place that they go is Google. They will literally Google the program name in the reviews or my name in the reviews to see what the streets have to say. So I decided to set up a Google business account, which is free to do, it takes a little bit of time, but every time that we receive a Google review now, I have that automatically posted to my Facebook business page. And this is an example of what that looks like. So when somebody leaves us a Google review, it'll automatically publish it to my Facebook business page. And this is an example of what that looks like. But the reason why I set this up is because we were getting amazing Google reviews. Listen, we're five star, baby, okay? We're five star. But I'm like, nobody knows about these reviews unless you actually go to Google. And this one quick automation made it really seamless so that anytime somebody leaves me a Google review, it immediately goes on my Facebook business page. Another automation that I like to set up is that when you have recurring tasks that you already know need to get done, but you need to automate the initiation or the reminder to do said thing. So for example, inside of my coaching program, we have clients are able to submit what we call our lean launch submission. So every time they finish a launch, they're able to submit their results of that launch that we can review it and give them additional access to the curriculum and help them take the next step in their journey. But when students submit that lean launch submission, this automation is triggered. This will be a really good automation for you to set up if you have your students sending in homework assignments or sending in things that you need to review or your team needs to review in order to unlock whatever the next step is. So when a client submits this lean launch submission, we also have this built out inside of Airtable, which is inside of that coaching client management system. So when that record is submitted or that form is submitted, that then creates a reminder task. And this reminder task lets my team know saying, hey, somebody one has submitted their homework, but two, you need to create a new task template inside of Asana. So let me show you what that looks like. Inside of Asana, I've built out for recurring processes or recurring tasks, you can build out these task templates. So that automation will just trigger a reminder task inside of Asana for my team member to have them come in and create this task template of review lean launch submission form. And that will create and auto-populate a ton of next step tasks. The reason why I chose to put this process as a task template versus building it out in totality inside of Zapier is because we were still making some tweaks to this process. And it's a lot easier to make quick adjustments in the process or add additional steps to the process inside of a task template in Asana versus building that whole beast of a thing out inside of Zapier and having to come back in and update it and change it. So let me show you an example of what this looks like. 
This is another automation that you can set up for all of your recurring tasks, creating a task template. A task template now builds out the entire process of what somebody needs to do. And inside of that task template are all of the necessary steps that have to be reviewed or the action steps that need to be taken. So depending on where you're at in your business journey or depending that you're already aware of what the recurring steps are and how to do them, you might not need to go this robust. Again, I have been in business now for about seven years and I've been selling this one particular coaching program for more than three years now. So I know what's a recurring task. We have a solid process for how things need to be done, but it took time to get there. Using Zapier to automate the initiation of something and then also combining that with task templates inside of Asana, just give us the flexibility that we need and allows me to delegate things to another team member without me having to manually remind them or manually remember how the process is done and constantly having to repeat myself. The next automation that I use to manage my seven-figure coaching business is managing my tasks inside of Asana. I don't know about you, but every Monday that rolls around, I'm constantly having to sit down and ask myself, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? What do I need to focus on? What are all the to-dos for the day? And what is the biggest priority items? I have to give a shout out to Marquis. I watched one of his Asana YouTube videos, which really inspired me to build out my own similar process for this. So inside of Asana, inside of my tasks, you can build out some really cool trigger automations to streamline all of your task management inside of Asana. So I have these particular categories here, brain dump, triage, priority, do today, do tomorrow, so on and so forth. But the dope thing is, is that you can click this customize button and create rules. Basically, anytime a due date is approaching where the task is due today, it'll automatically move it to that section that you created called today. Similarly, if a due date is for tomorrow, Asana will automatically move that task to that section of your board. So again, this makes my life super easy because when I come into Asana at the beginning of every day, I can now spend five to 10 minutes to see, okay, what's due tomorrow? I got quite a few things due tomorrow. What's due today? I've already completed all my to-dos. And I can kind of start managing my capacity in advance. Or if I'm having a moment where I'm just like, I know there's a bunch of stuff I need to do. I don't know where I need to categorize it. I do, I use my brain dump tab. And I will just put in all the things I need to do, both personal and stuff for the business. And then from there, I can either assign it a due date or once I put it in my brain dump tab, I can start to identify whether or not it's something that I need to do or something that can be delegated to somebody else. So this is kind of my one-stop shop where I can put all of my to-dos in one place and all the to-dos that are already connected to other projects get pulled in here. And now I can just kind of organize things as is. So let's say that these are due tomorrow, update cash flow for the last month, that's definitely a priority. I can move it to the priority tab so that when I'm logging in tomorrow, I like to identify two to three things that are my biggest priority because I like to knock those out first thing in the day. And then I can also see what else is remaining on my to-do list. So again, this just helps me kind of prioritize my tasks, know what's coming ahead, and identify what I could delegate to somebody else to do versus me doing it myself. Now, this next automation is more of a fun one. It's not necessary, but it feels really freaking good. And this is an automation that triggers a Slack notification. So anytime somebody makes a purchase inside of Thrivecart, so Thrivecart is the system that I use for all of my payment processing for anything that anybody could buy from me. So anytime somebody makes a purchase through Thrivecart, it sends a message to Slack. And it just feels really good as you're going throughout the day to keep getting these notifications saying, hey, somebody bought your workshop, or hey, somebody bought the right response, or hey, somebody bought the coaching client management system. And it just feels really good seeing Betty the Bot let you know that, hey, you made a little bit of money today. These are just some of the automations that I rely on to run my online coaching business. I really hope that this video inspires you to identify where you could be automating and streamlining some of the manual tasks that you're doing in your business so that you can get more of your time back to focus on the work that matters most. If you like the video you just watched, click this one. You might like it even more. Go ahead, check it out.